probability of um, so there's... To unlikely, but I'm going to pop to the loo. I'll be back and I'll talk about that. So there's the ca compartments can flood if they get hit by something at high speeds. So normally the way you do that is you'd get a propulsion cannon and shoot something at a base. However, there's this thing with Subnautica where stuff that's further away from you doesn't exist. So this is a really useful tool that developers use to help optimize their games because you wouldn't want to load everything in because that's very intensive. Attention. Is the sound dead for anyone else? No. Uh. Hello? You have sound. Cheers, guys. Um, so yeah, if the and and generally creatures will spawn in before land does, right? So if a creature spawns in, and then the land spawns in on top of the creature, something has to move, and obviously the land can't move. The land is static, so the creature gets shot out of the land at high velocity. So you'll see that every so often when we're running, you'll see like a, a cow fly into space or a, a, a dog fly off into the distance. Um, if that creature that's getting fired out of the ground hits a compartment, the compartment will start flooding because it's a high velocity object hitting your compartment. So that is how a base could randomly spawn without you do any, doing anything. It's the Aurora, yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing. Mm. Okay, this spawns fine if I can find some limestone. Copper? Oh, it is. Okay, uh, what do I do now? Um, hmm, where are the mushrooms? Mushrooms are all the way down there, right? Where's the... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm going up, apparently. Uh, get these ones. Get these ones and go up? Question mark? Ooh, I don't know whether I like that, but we might be leaving at an appropriate time, so it's probably fine. Hey, trade dancers, and why am I resetting? Because we're trying to find a really good spawn. There are lots of different places you can spawn in Subnautica. You want to spawn in a good one. Some of the top of the water is slightly faster when you don't have the sea glide. So we do that here, and we can grab some sea glide bits. Fantastic, and a metal salvage in between them. What a day. Boop. And head on over. 
Uh, mushroom count is zero. That was three? Three? Yeah, I need one more. Okay. Dogs. Oh, dogs. How are you today? One and two and three and go. One dog. Two dog. Doesn't look like they have any metal. Here's a gift. You need this metal more than I. Two and like a half. Two and a half dog. Something like that. Okay, if there's a metal savage there, I'm going to go for that. <laughs> to replace my uh, my one that I gave to the dogs. Okay. So we're going to grab some lovely resources. You'll notice I'm breaking these blocks a little bit quicker than you might normally. Give me that copper. Give me. And that's because if you bind the scroll wheel to any of your action keys, and you play at higher than 60 FPS, each of your scrolls is going to count as multiple inputs of that action. That means you can do stuff like this, where normally you'd have to click four times to gather the item inside this. I can just do it in one scroll. Excuse me, fish. Thank you. His run is already so polished that he has to have a good starting point. Save every second in the game to be able to get a good time. Pretty much, yeah. So we're going to swim along the top again, save ourselves some seconds, excuse me Raymond, thank you, and go back. But the scroll wheel also helps, you can be a little bit more imprecise with some of your actions, like getting into that is quite tricky without the scroll wheel at that angle. Going to make our next set of tools, we need five metal to do so, we've got eight. And I'm holding down the sprint key to keep this menu open, very useful. A knife, and a two tank, and a seat glider. Thank you. Don't pull this in here. What have we got? Five and two. That is nine. And we're gonna head out. I need seventy to twenty-one quartz. I need three table coral. I need two silver, two gold. And I need as much limestone as I can carry. Ooh, a lot of limestone. Lovely. Ten. Eleven. One silver, one gold. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and back. Ooh, hello. Any metal salvage would be appreciated. I've already got the table coral right. Yep, I already have it. Good. Sixteen, seventeen. Another gold, please. Thank you. Grab this titanium that I dropped. 18. And we'll leave. Heading back to base. To make ourselves the final tool of the section. The habitat builder. A little bit behind, but it's not too bad. I don't have the mushrooms, do I not? Do I really not? I must have the mushrooms. Do I not have the mushrooms? I don't. Okay. How did I forget the mushrooms? Guess an English Subnautica streamer. Hmm. Give it the wreck. Does that work for every wreck? Works for every wreck except the Aurora, because they patch that for obvious reasons. Because making a base near the Aurora and having it disappear is very confusing. <laughs> okay. So we're going to make ourselves a little base. And we're going to fill it full of water. For we are a creature of the sea, not of the land. To do so, I'm going to make three extra glass compartments and three metal ones. I don't have enough materials to make them just yet. Give me this. Thank you. That's two extra metal. And I'll take this as well. Why not? I need to make two more glass to finish this base. What is the best biome for sandstone? Uh, I mean, how much you need? <laughs> like deep sparse reefs, fine. You can grab stuff through doors like this. Whoop. Your seamoth once disappeared while parked in front of the aurora. It was probably eaten. There's a big old reaper there that likes eating sea moths. I need to grab nine of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna grab some metal. That's what happened to my Seamoth at the very least. Reaper took a big old bite out of it. Om nom nom. I'm gonna dump some. I'm gonna take this as well so I can grab this metal and head on back. Okay. This is my late game locker. It's got this, this, and a battery in. This is my early game locker. It's got everything else. Came out and it's stolen. Hmm. Get out. Oh, my inventory. Oh, no, a flare. Because I was in the base when it flooded, the game now thinks that I'm both swimming and walking at the same time. So it puts those two speeds together. Very nice, because I get to go a little bit faster than normal. And now I'm looking for teeth. Every time dogs pick up a piece of metal, there's a chance to drop a tooth. I need four teeth in total. In about a minute. No, no, no. You, there was, all three of you picked that up. Come on now. Mine got stuck in a teleporter. You chasing me, buddy? Because that's fine, but... No, no, there's one. Okay, that's a little bit. Yeah, you can bite me if you like. There you go. We've got like 10 seconds, maybe maybe 15 if I'm feeling generous. What, are you stealing all of my metal? Oh, hello. Okay, that'll do. Goodbye. I might drown. No, I don't need to drown, that's fine. Do your teeth fall faster when you ram them in the face? Uh, no. No, they don't, unfortunately. That would be a, quite a... Uh, quite a thing. Are you family friendly? I mean, I try not to swear. And I don't normally get frustrated, so... Okay, so we're going to dump our late game items in here. That's all those. We're going to dump our early game items in here. We're going to do a count, so I've got... I need to make another battery, do I? Really? Really? Another battery? Really? No, I didn't need another battery. That was silly. Uh, so I need 11... Uh, copper and 3 quartz. 1 quartz. 2 quartz. I'm going to grab some sandstone for the top of here. 3 quartz. There's always 8 at the top. Three quartz, one copper. So that's one copper, because that's all the quartz I need. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Two copper. And we'll head on down. Hello. Going to take a tick of damage every second you're near this. Guys, if you're ever in the main blast, you're going to take more. So we're going to try and avoid that. That's three copper. That's four copper. I think there's something in here. I can't find it, though. Five copper. Uh, do we have any more tier two resources on this bit? Yes, we do. Six copper. Anything on the walls? Yes, we got one here, we got one here. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay, that's fine. Seven copper. Eight copper, and head on through. Any tier twos around? Any tier twos around? No. A little bonus of Super Sea Gliders, you can rub your face on these lovely stingers and they won't harm you at all. Also, Crashfish don't know you're here. Which can be quite helpful. Unfortunately, buzz bu bubbles get a bit confused as well. Uh, doop doo this one. I think there's one to my left as well. Yep. I'm already full. Okay, that's fine. We're going to head out. Back to base we go. you got a follower. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. We're the problem here. Hmm. Okay. So, I've got some silver now, so I'm hopefully going to upgrade my O2 tank. I'm going to dump the lead in here. How much lead do I have? I'm actually missing one lead, which is a surprise. I'm going to make an ingot so I've got time to think. Okay, I think I need to make... Grab myself some lovely glass. Thank you. And we're going to take off this O2 tank so I can upgrade. I don't actually have enough metal in my inventory, so I need to make some more. Uh, I, did, I took out all the silver, let's grab that back again. 
There you go. Okay. So I need three more... Three more copper. I'm gonna make another ingot, because I still haven't thought hard enough. Okay. Get out of my inventory. Uh, four and seven. Three more copper. Four and seven. Five silver, five gold, three copper. Okay. That works. A little bit more than I'd like, really, but we'll see. One gold. Oh, and I need a lead. There's the lead. One gold, one copper. Okay, we'll head on in. Two gold, one copper. Two gold, one silver, one copper. Generally tier two on the walls, tier one on the floor. Uh, two gold, two silver, one copper. Two gold, three silver, one copper. Two gold, three silver, two copper. There's all the copper. Two gold, three silver. Three gold, three silver. There's always two in this cave. Four gold, three silver. Four gold, four silver. Counting. Uh, nothing on the outside. Let's dump this lead. I only need one. Four gold, four silver. I can count. Hooray. Grab ourselves some mobile vehicle bays. How are you going so fast with the sea glide? Oh, there's one. Four gold, five silver. There's a little speed glitch that we do in this game where you trick the game into thinking you're walking and swimming. It's all to do with a flooded base. I need one more gold. Passing 100 meters. That's not gold, that's gold. Out I go. Get out of here, lead. I care not for you. I'm gonna find myself some metal salvage on the way back. There's one. There's another, I think. Yes, thank you. There's some. And some more. Please drop. Please drop. 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 You drop. Thank you. Thank you for drop. Oh, I, already, I was already full. Oh, you didn't need to drop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. I apologize. Teach me. If... Okay. So I wasn't meant to go in here. This was a mistake. Out I go. And we'll go up to the life pod. Don't forget the last tooth. I'll try not to. So, we're about a minute behind daybreak. So, we're going to use the power in the life pod. Because we haven't been here in a while, so it's got more power than my main base. And we did go out of the water, so we have lost super sea life, so we'll have to get it again. But that can be done pretty easily. So, if you go in a flooded base, you deconstruct and reconstruct the hatch, you're going to get super sea life back again. We're going to deconstruct some of this while I make some ingots. I think I should be able to make another ingot. I think. I cannot. Okay, I'll just make a copper wire. Sure. How much metal do I have? Uh, okay, so if I make... Uh, that was seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, perfect. Just trying to do stuff while I craft. Don't want to waste any time. I should be able to make some wiring kits, yes, fantastic. Dump this, grab the silver apart from four. That was five, give me back a silver. Thank you, grab all these. Got too many, we don't have enough power here, sure. Grab all these, grab this, grab the gold, and we'll just head up, up now. Actually, we can make some more items down here. I've got a bit more power, I can make a computer chip and do some more management. Grab these, grab these. Okay, we'll head up now. Again, using the power in the life pod. We're probably a bit behind. This feels a little bit slow. Ideally, I want to be done by about 15, 30 or something like that. Uh, 15, maybe. If I have more metal, I guess it's fine. I don't think I do, though. So I need one more tooth. And 70 and leave. There's a metal there, good to know. And I can make the final item here, the rebreather. Dump all these in here. And this. I've got five. Five and three. Okay, uh, get out of my inventory, you. Reactivate Super Sea Guard again. And we're going to go over to these dogs. Five and three. Five and seven, that's ingots and spare. Dogs, give teeth. Give teeth. Give teeth. Give teeth. There you go, thank you. Five and seven. Six and one, six and five, six and nine. Ooh, a mobile vehicle bay, very nice. How do I scan it? I have to just rub my face against it. Thank you. 
Seven and three. Seven and seven. Gonna go this way. Eight and one. Eight and five. Eight and nine. Nine and three. I'm full, am I? I am full. I can scan something I've already made to get to. Eight and seven. Is eight and seven good? Maybe. I'm at eight and five though. I'll need to do another outing. I've got a minute and a half to do all this. Or close to as. Reaper just attacked you in the kelp forest. Oof. A big oof. Grab this. And these, I guess. Make myself an enamel glass and some more metal. Just look to your video. Which one? Something a nine. Eight and nine, okay, eight and nine, sure. Uh, nine and three, nine and seven. Ten and one. One more, one more, one more, no dog, no! Ten and five, thank you dog. It's for the good cause, it's for a good cause. Can you technically kill a sea dragon with a blade? Yes you can. Grab three of these, grab this, this. This, this, this. Okay. And we leave. So we're going to go to the Aurora, we're going to grab the last blueprint of the game and we're going to learn a little bit about, about blah, 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 blah. A little bit about dying. So when you die you get to keep all the items you had on you when you were last in a base as well as one additional random item. That random item is going to be a metal salvage that I'm going to pick up here. Hey Buttons, I'm doing alright thanks, yeah how are you doing? Metal salvage here, lovely. I'm going to go on, I'm going to go inside this Aurora through the maintenance hatch. It's definitely intended, don't worry about it. I'm gonna just swim through these air ducts, ventilation shafts, like in like in Die Hard or something. Definitely a ventilation shaft, not out of bounds. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna go find ourselves the prawn bay. This is the locker room. Here's the prawn bay. We line ourselves up like this, and we go straight up, and end up in this thing. Lovely. Two, six, seven, nine is always the code. Grab the final blueprint and die in this fire. We make ourselves some metal with that, and we're going to leave. So this is fine. We can we can uh, we can get this time. Going to head over this away. I need to sc I needed to scan that. It's fine. There'll be another one. I believe. I believe. Keep going left. Good. I'll scan this. Okay, I need I need uh, two extra metal. There you go, fantastic. World record now, maybe. And we're gonna head over to the mountain island along this little cliffside. It can be a bit confusing watching this because I do just pick a random direction and go. Uh, but there is a cloud you can follow if you don't know your directions underneath the water. So if you look at the aurora, you look left. There's a cloud, and you follow that, and you'll end up here. Okay. So we're going to get a lot of air, because we need to do a lot of stuff with this air. We're going to go down right now and grab some special resources. So first special resource is this tablet. We're going to rub it on our face, because it's beautiful. And then I'm going to find some of this lithium. I need seven to eight, ideally. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Diamonds are hated. Six, seven, that'll do. Eight even better. Eight even better, I said. And we'll head on down. Make ourselves a little base. It's really irrelevant. What country am I from? I'm from the UK. Can't you hear our 100% Britishy sounds? Hmm. And there's a moon pool there. Lovely. Make ourselves a solar panel. So that's a lovely base that's probably irrelevant. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to dump all of these lovely 
lithium right here again. Very irrelevant, don't worry about it. And we'll scan this moon pool. I need to scan one more moon pool and three more engines. I'm also going to look to grab six more lithium from just around here. So there's one, two, three, four. I can grab some more later. There's an engine. There's a second engine in front of me. Can't see any moon pool from this angle. Uh, third engine over there. Uh, moon pool, moon pool, moon pool, moon pool, moon pool. And up we go. Excuse me, Warper. I am on my way. I'd like. Five, six, fantastic, and we'll head over. We're gonna go past the Reaper man. Hello, Reaper, you stay over there. I'm gonna go grab a mushroom here. That's two, I'm gonna have to drop one. Okay, that's fine, I've got the space. Oxygen. I'm gonna go grab a lot of air, because again, we need to do a lot of stuff. And straight down. I think. It's over there. Missed another moon pool, but it doesn't matter. I always get another moon pool. It's fine. There's going to be another moon pool here as well. Just because. Let me grab that plant. It's very important. But don't worry about it. Okay. We're going to go and get another plant over here. Lots of stuff for late game. This ice stalk. This ghost weed over here. And then we're going to have a leisurely stroll through the Lost River. Not a lot to do here. We're going to be uh, doing a little bit of inventory management when we get to a waterfall. Imagine losing runs to moon pools. Imagine. The only thing you have to do here is avoid hitting fish. So those shoals of fish, they're actually floating walls. You hit them, it's a little bit disappointing. Okay. So this moon, po this uh, waterfall. Sorry, swap batteries. Dump this. Dump this. Uh, dump this. There we go. I knew I always had to dump something else. Say out of Casper, the friendliest ghost lavat, and sometimes he says hi back. There you go. I'm gonna head on down. Grab ourselves some nickel, as I've always wanted to do. Nickel's a tiny little thing, like this. It plays hide and seek, and I need three. Everything looks like nickel. The ground looks like nickel. The shale looks like nickel. The fish look like nickel. The bubbles, they look like nickel. The nickel doesn't look like nickel. The nickel looks like dirt on the floor. There you go, there's the third nickel. And we're gonna carry on. We're gonna find a dragon, that's fine. And we're gonna build a moon pool right above this lava. As you would. I'm going to do a quick, a trick very quick. Okay, so I'm going to jump up, lose Super Sea Glide, go down, die in this lava. Because you can't take damage from lava if you have Super Sea Glide. We're going to respawn. Okay, respawn quick enough that the base hasn't flooded yet. Go down, take some damage on the lava, about just over a half. We're going to go back up. The base is flooded now, we've got Super Sea Glide, we carry on. Okay. We're going to go get some crystals and some sulfur now. I need four crystals right now. I can get four sulfur later. There's one sulfur. One crystal, one sulfur. One crystal, two sulfur. One crystal, three sulfur. One crystal, four sulfur. This is unfortunate. Two crystal, four sulfur. Three crystal, four sulfur. Four crystal, four sulfur. Good stuff. We'll head on in. And I'm going to have to take a smaller jump than normal. Normally I'd do a big old jump here, but I am scared. There you go. So now, another thing about dying. When you die inside one of these lovely alien bases, you get to keep all your resources. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get to keep all those kyanite. And this cube I just picked up. Even get to grab these blueprints for ion power later in the game. And respawn back at that moon pool, right where I need to go. There you go, we're back in the moon pool. It's flooded, so we get Super Sea Glide. We're going to deconstruct it and we're going to leave. 
Lovely. So I'm looking for some sulfur because I don't have enough yet, I don't think. I believe. I believe in sulfur. I said I believe in sulfur, come on. I know I I know I ignored that sulfur, but but please. No, I've got all the sulfur, what am I doing? What am I doing? Excuse me, dragon, please. We're trying to do a stream here. So we're gonna go in this water, we're gonna hop out, we're gonna spam jump on this bit, you get pushed out at the top, and then you jump out into the water so you can carry on swimming. You can only do that glitch without Super Sea Glide, so that's why we have to go into the air. And then we're going to do a little swim through this. Go to this water, spam jump, and head on in. Swim straight down. And we activate the cutscene. Yeah, four, four, three, six. Yeah, okay. Where's the exit? This way. Can't actually leave until she says they played. They built these walls. They played alone. Mm, okay, good. We're gonna go build a moon pool because we're slow. We went out of the water and we don't like that. As I said before, we are a creature of the sea. We're gonna make ourselves a little moon pool. Swim on down. If you press C, you can swim down. There we go. And while I'm waiting for that to flood, we're gonna activate this. Okay. So this is going to flood now, you're going to see the water rise, level rise a little bit, that's flooded. Hop in, get Super Sea Glide and we're going to leave. So we're going to get a cube so we can leave. And the final ingredient to make the hatching enzymes. And I normally have to wait for this nice lady to blow away the sand so you can leave. But we just poke our head through the sand and open it ourselves. Because we are impatient. And also, when you have the Super Sea Glide, you can slightly clip through everything. So you sort of just stick your head in through, and again, using the scroll wheel, it's very easy to do that. If you were just using the click, it's quite hard to be as precise to uh, put the cube in there. We're waiting for a cutscene to end here. There you go. Now I can make the hatching enzymes. And I want the gold back. Lovely. With the passage you opened, my young now I'm going to grab place. all these resources I left before. Not the be diamonds, though. Oh, I picked up the diamonds. This is what the others could not force okay. We're going to get Super Sea Glide again. I Go all the way up this moon pool to the air, so you get it. And then down again. We're going to hatch the babies. Hatch the babies, and we're going to leave. There is a cutscene that shows the babies hatching, but they're actually teleported outside already. So we're going to go outside and meet them. And you can save about a second here, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe we'll lose a bit. Depends how good the movement was. Okay, we saved two. Not bad. Cheers. Cheers, music. Okay. So we're going to hop in this... Excuse me. going to hop in this uh, compartment and deconstruct the hatch. So that saves our inventory. And now I'm going to do a little bit of management here. There we go. And we're going to carry on. So another thing about dying... If the game can't find the last base you're in, it's going to respawn you back at the life pod. The life pod is currently 1,000 meters away, so that's quite the teleport. Very excited. And we've taken off our O2 tank to help that, so I'm going to start drowning. There's a couple things we need to do before we drown, and you'll notice I am walking through the walls. That's because most of these are advice, and you just choose not to take them. We're going to turn off the gun All right now.
couple things we need to do before we dry. And those things are... Grab a couple items. So, when you die, you also get to keep any storyline items you have on you. Mostly because if you didn't, you could probably soft lock the game very easily. So these two are both storyline items, so we get to keep both rather than just one. Get out of here, diamond. I hate you. 6, 10, 14. Fantastic. Only two gold. I need more gold. I'm actually going to do this. You can keep this menu open while you die. And we'll equip the O2 tank again. Lovely. Going to dump all these resources in here. I don't want them. Grab this quartz, grab this, reactivate Super Sea Glide, and we're going to leave. And we're going to try and get some Cyclops Fragments. Okay. So we head this away. Uh, again, a little bit confusing with me just sort of choosing a random direction and swimming. But, um... If you find a cloud that is to the right of the Auroran Swim to that, that's the general place that this is going to take you to. We're going to go level with this fissure, or crevice, or whatever you want to call it, and go up for air. And then we're just going to carry on. So we keep going on zero until we get past our little buddy here. He is guarding a cave. We go straight down. There you go. So I'm looking for two gel sacks, two gold and two rubies. Where are the rubies? That's a lithium, I don't need that. There's one ruby. There's a second ruby. I'd really like a gold. That's a silver. That's a lead. That's a gold. We'll get one gold and we'll try and find another gold later, I suppose. Okay, we're going to head over to a little cave. It's going to be over here somewhere. I still need a salt. I'll keep an eye out for it. I'm going to head on down. Hey, a willow. I'm going to open this door with the tablet we got from the gun. And now I can go and grab some ion cubes. So one, two, and three. And we'll head on out. Left and right, then left again. Then right. Then left again. There's the salt I need. Fantastic. And I don't like this wreck. I'm going to do a little magic trick. I'm going to make it disappear. Goodbye. And now I need to find some parts. There's a bridge fragment right beneath me. A hull, sorry. I need three hull, three bridge. So there's a bridge. So I'm one and one. Two bridge, one hull. Two hull, two bridge. Grab the shield generator for later. There's a bridge and there's a hull. There you go. So we still need a gold. So we're going to have a little look around here with my light on. Going to make ourselves a compartment. And a hatch. There's nothing here, is there? I'll find a gold later, I suppose. Save my inventory, leave, deconstruct this, and kill myself on the mushrooms. Okay. Got to do a lot of crafting now, and still get some gold as well. Who remembers if I went down beneath me? I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Uh, so I need to grab a battery from in here. Need to change batteries, you need to take this battery out. And make a power cell. Got the gold and the silver. Make myself more aerogel, more silver. Make myself some hydrochloric acid. 
and some polyaniline. Good stuff. Gold is giving you PTSD. Mm. No, I need two gold. I need more gold than that. Yeah, I got an extra one, didn't I? Got an extra one. Yep. What do I need for this? I can make it, sure. Four of these, both of these, this, I think. While that's making... Oh, I need to reactivate Super Sea Glide. Grab this. We'll just get the gold now. Count the seconds, everybody. Enjoy. Gold, please. Gold. Silver. Gold. Lead. Gold. Gold. I'm full of lead. There you go. Out we go. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped the lead. That's going to be unfortunate, isn't it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, I'm going to dump this, start deconstructing this, dump that, deconstruct it a bit more. I think I've wasted too much time. I think we're done, but we'll, we'll finish it. So we go till we're deep enough, we hop up out of the water a little bit, deploy this, and it still gets confused. No. Come on now. And we're going to head on back to the base. Make ourselves another iron battery and some iron power cells. I need to make two. And head on down. Need to reactivate Super Sea Glide and grab all the rest of the items from my base. So grab all these, dump these, grab these, grab these, these, these. Reactivate Super Sea Glide. I said, reactivate Super Sea Glide. And we're going to go over to the rocket platform and do a graceful dive like a dolphin. Almost beautiful. Need to make the Cyclops now. I'm excited for another 4148. That would be that would be amazing. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. A third 4148. Can I just submit them all? Can they all be on the leaderboard at the same time? <laughs> okay. While this Cyclops is building, we want to like, as as we've been saying for the rest of the game, we want to build stuff while we're building stuff, or do something while we're building stuff at the very least. So we build that Cyclops while we're building the rocket, and then we build this rocket section while we go inside the Cyclops to make the shield generator. You can only make the shield generator inside the rocket. Inside this Cyclops, sorry. Thankfully, to make it, you need a power cell, but the, ro the Cyclops comes with that for some reason. I, I don't really know why. 4143, you reckon? Hmm. And we're going to go back to our rocket. And make the final two sections. Forty-one forty seven, let's go. Oof. What a what a what a PB. What a PB. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna done? You're done? This is the one place where you can't use the scroll wheel. You actually have to stand still and left click, or click normally, whatever you've bound it to. The scroll wheel does not work. It does work on this elevator though. And we stay away from this wall. This wall will catapult you into space if you rub your face on it too much. So we don't do that. We're gonna jump. Eh. And. We have to put the three, flick the sweet three switches at the bottom, go upstairs, flick two switches. You don't actually have to send a time capsule. Communications systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. 
by 10 seconds, yeah, something like that. Maybe even less. Primary computer systems active. So the computers and the life support. Life support systems online. All systems are 4139. Eight seconds ahead, okay. On your command, Captain. Launch in ten, nine, eight. So there you go. Fantastic. We did indeed get a new world record. Good stuff. And the great thing about this one is that, again, just like the last one, there's a section you can save a lot of time on. Obviously, there's always getting faster resource sections, but this is real nice. I don't have a, uh, a PB with a ridiculous resource time. Portion. But this is this is real good. Real good. Field. That's three sub-42s. Very nice. Launch in 10, 9, 8. Yeah, a slightly slower nonsense fiesta. 1930 is a lot more achievable than 1902. Uh, 1902 was the second best I've ever done full stop. I had a 1859 was the other one. What is my summer best? It's fairly... it doesn't mean a lot, the summer best in this, uh, with my particular splits. When sub 41, come on, stop playing with us. I'm getting closer. Nineteen oh two was silly, yeah. Uh, definitely achievable though. Also the tool sections is now even slower, so we'll get a lot of greens what is on a that. Without the ocean, a beginning without an end. PCF also could have been slightly faster, which is nice. A little bit of time you can save there. And uh, that's because we We are different. Had a little bit of trouble with the Kyanite. And also check the PDA, because I got confused. I'm out for today. Wish you all a happy new year, good evening. I'll see you, Buns. Thanks for joining for the for the world record. Got to see two world records with Sauna. There you go. Good stuff. I guess we're gonna play the credits. That's what we normally do with these. Um some of best I guess you could they they uh that that's the summer best one. Um I guess I'll reset this. Uh, yes, I would like to update my times, thank you. Some of the best is 37.21, fairly impossible. Luckily the nickel didn't cause you much issue, yeah. Call unknown worlds, hello. We did it. <laughs> I guess. Oh, cheers, sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. And cheers, Matthew. Call unknown worlds, they're crying. <laughs> we picked up like two diamonds. Oh, it's, it's a lot of lithium, though, and that's surely that's worth loads. Cheers, Zeus. And yeah, and we can still go faster, which is real good. Very nice. Very good stuff. Welcome home to all Terra. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of. One trillion credits. One trillion.